Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, it's like 13 days to go for this decade, and uh, we are almost near to 2020. But there is one question which is always in everyone's mind that whether to go for Flutter, React Native, or uh, Pure Native. So I have been making a lot of videos recently on Flutter uh, because there is a lot of hype about Flutter in the community. So we'll talk about that. React Native on the other side is very popular among especially web uh, community. And then when I say pure um, native, then it means that native Android app development and native iOS development, which means uh, Java or Kotlin for Android or Objective-C or Swift for um, iOS. So yeah, we'll talk about it. So I'm gonna make it very simple in this video that which one you should choose and when. So we'll talk about what are the options for students what are the options for freelancers or individuals what are the options for service based companies and what are the options for startup so let's start so first of all uh, let's talk about flutter react native and pure what are the differences so when we talk about flutter it's a ui first framework which means when you have to deal with designs you are not gonna you know um, have anything which which will concern you regarding design so design is gonna be uh, a very positive point about flutter as compared to anything else as well as when we talk about flutter they also care about the performance because what used to happen there are many other frameworks as well like um, there was cordova there was there there is xamarin there is uh, ionic and uh, Cro uh, like framework 7 a lot all, all those options but the problem with them is that the design part is very bad with almost every one of them and then the integration with the native world is kind of very much difficult or maybe it's it's like it caused performance issues so that's one thing so keeping all these things in mind flutter was made and uh, yes definitely it's one of the good options out in the market but when we comes to react native the good part is that react native is in existence from a long time as compared to flutter and especially the people who are doing web they can use the power of react and uh, they can use react native because it's almost the same you just have to learn few things and you can go uh, with your web app as well as your mobile app when you use react native so that kind of uh, I guess you know when you are dealing with JavaScript then obviously it makes sense um, then when we come to vanilla Android or native Android it's it's gonna give you the best performance best everything so but the problem is that uh, you cannot have two application at once or maybe the developer experience might not be the best so that those are the differences between all these three but now I would say that what you should prefer so if you are a student and if you are like you know doing your undergraduation or maybe um, all these things where you are just studying then i would say to rather focus on the programming language itself so you can focus on java which is a good way to start your programming career you can simultaneously learn dart and uh, there are again two options uh, which is open to you either you want to do web app development or you want to do um, mobile app development and Again, there will be two paths. If you are interested in mobile app development as your primary, you know, development experience for you as a developer, then I would suggest to either you can go for Flutter or you can go for, go, go for uh, native Android or native iOS. But let's say if you are much more oriented into the web world or you want to try web first and then maybe later you want to go to mobile, then maybe you can go with React and React Native. So those are two things, but I would suggest as a student, you should first learn the programming language. Java and Dart is kind of very much similar. Even C Sharp, JavaScript, all of these are kind of very similar. So if you learn one programming language, then it's, it's very much easy to learn any other programming language so that's not a problem and uh, once you are in the web uh, part of this particular field then i would suggest to go with react native because you already have the web experience and you know it will be very easy for you to go with react native but let's say if you are someone who is into mobile you want to do native or flutter so i would suggest to go or maybe start with the native first so that you can have all those experiences where 
you know um it's very easy to start with something which is very easy itself but when there are challenges then maybe it will be make you a better developer so i would suggest to start with native and then simultaneously you can learn flutter as well you can build few projects there is no harm in learning more than one technology and that's a good part of about technology that um, whatever you learn you never you know lose anything you always gain something so that's one thing now it comes when it comes to freelancers i would suggest you to go with flutter especially if you are not from the web background if you are from web background then obviously i would always suggest to go with react native probably because you already have that experience until unless you want to take that risk or you are not facing any issue with react native if you are happy with react native just stay with react native otherwise you can definitely try flutter or even native android or ios native is gonna be difficult so if you are a freelancer you might want to deliver the application to um maybe let's say your client where he wants an android as well as ios application for a cheaper cost so maybe flutter can be a very good option for you and then i would say uh, that uh, it also depends on the use case what kind of project you are making yeah uh, so i'm going to now talk about the startups as well so if you are a startup if you want to um, choose between flutter or native or maybe react native then just uh, try to um go through all of them once just uh, do a maybe a small mvp uh, about your use case so what i would suggest if you are someone who is thinking about making something which is re- very much relative to hardware let's say it involves bluetooth uh, ar core ar kit whatever i mean all those things where it's it's going to be high processing um a lot of stuff related to hardware or maybe you are making something related to iot then i would always suggest to go native and uh, just, just does not think about uh, you know all these cross platform frameworks or maybe tools but it's not like you know these these kind of use cases are not possible with them but yes if you are more concerned about one operating system at once then obviously it's it makes sense to go native but then um i would say if you are someone who is making maybe a data oriented app or maybe those kind of application which is like you know which where you want to give a better ui ux experience um and it's kind of uh, e-commerce application or maybe all the other options which are left you can definitely go with things like flutter or even react native but i would suggest flutter because um, it gives you better performance it gives you better animation framework it gives you better you know design framework so uh, it, overall i would say flutter is always a best choice as compared to even native or um, react native so for startups i would suggest maybe you you have a low budget maybe you have a very small team then starting with flutter is not a bad idea so for students there is you know um react native and native and flutter all these options open for freelancers i would suggest flutter is a way to go if you are someone who deals with mobile app platform if you are someone who is into web then react native is a way for startup mostly it's it's like i would say because of the low budget and small team i would always prefer flutter and now when it comes to someone who who is like a startup from a long time maybe they have uh, like you know in finite money or unlimited money in india we call it andha paisa then um i would suggest to go with the native why you are even wasting your time in uh, other cross platform frameworks when you have money you do, you don't have to think about the team then it's it's always a good idea to go native because you don't have to think then if it was a good uh, choice or not so yeah <laughs> if you are someone who have who has sufficient money who has sufficient team to build a product then go native so that's that will be the best way to do it and then it when it comes to mnc i don't have to tell you anything because you all already know what's better for your company what i guess uh, you know um, you have to go through a lot of hierarchy so whatever i say doesn't matter to you most of the time i guess so yeah it's very clear that flutter um 
is a great option for almost everyone that uh, because you know the uh, it it saves your time it gives you better development experience it gives you better performance it gives you better you know approach for making a better ui and ux for users so yes it definitely makes sense to use flutter now there is one point which i want to cover which is that uh, flutter has been in the market in last maybe two to three years where people used to know about flutter as uh, sdk for making android and ios apps but they are now focusing on web platform as well and desktop platform as well so if you are going with flutter obviously there are a lot more ways which are now opening for you and um, so basically it 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 can have a very good future when I talk about future, there is another operating system which is Fushia, which also like it's it's like a sandbox right now where we don't know what's gonna happen. But I have got this feeling that uh, uh, maybe in next one or two years or maybe in next I or after that they are gonna announce maybe a version of Fushia to the public. Um, it's not gonna like th it is also possible that you will never hear about Fushia But it's it's a very rare case as far as I know because there are a lot of team being Doing all the work with that and especially it has integration with flutter. So it makes sense So Fushia a uh, flutter is definitely gonna be a futuristic stuff especially when you want to have a single platform for all kind of uh, devices so yes, that is one point when we talk about react then it's mostly oriented to web so you have a website you have a web application but now you also want a mobile app you can go with something like a pwa or you can use react native to build a mobile application so that that's again a scenario where web is more important to you than the mobile application then i would say react native is definitely a better choice but um if mobile app is you know um very much important to you and web is um the light version will also work then i guess flutter is right now the best choice and if none of them works for you then do the web development with whatever options you have react vue.js um angular or python django whatever you want to use and for mobile just use native android native ios and you will be happy so that's it about this video i hope that you got uh, some feedbacks from my side that what you should use depending on my experience because i have been doing android for almost three to four years then i switched to xamarin i did a little bit react um, and now I have been doing flutter mostly so yes I can give you these feedbacks uh, which personally I felt then you can see some dashes behind me I'm gonna give them to many of the people who deserve this and I'm gonna make a video as well so thank you so much for joining on this channel and I'll see you in the next video bye bye take care if you like this video then press the like button subscribe to this channel and also make sure that you press the bell icon to get future updates and a lot of good things are coming on this channel so take care have fun and keep doing awesome work